Hello, it's Tiny T-Bass. So today, I want to show you guys my candle pin bowling. Alright, so this is my um, candle pin bowling. Alright. So a little conveyor belt here and a pin elevator. And the pin is now refilling. Alright. And each of the pin will go to its um, their pin deck or something, so, and, yeah, so, I drag a ball here and roll a ball there, and, the conveyor belts, transfers the ball and the pins into the pin thing, and the ball will go under this conveyor belt, then all right and then the ball arrives here to the ball accelerator and then there's the little motor door here and yeah first back here and yeah, back here first then I have got my um this sweep here alright yeah anyway this is a lot like a Brunswick A2 sweep and let me show again that alright yeah this mechanism um, now this wave is a bit like the front spec A2 uh, sweep, so, and then, whoops, pins are clogging up, so, and pins are clogging up, so, yep. So, I'll lower the pin first, and then let go of them, right? Yeah, this pin is quite fast, so, yeah, the pins are again being refilled. Alright. And let me show you the mechanism inside. Behind, yeah, behind this thing. So, yeah, each of the pin will go to uh, its, its um, room um, or, oops, or the compartment. And this special pin here, yeah, oh yeah, one more thing, if a pin that went to the wrong position, um, according to the compartment, and the pin will, will just fall down into its um, original compartment, um, because this thing yeah, this splitter is using the layer thing, alright? The layer thing to split them up. So, yeah. Yeah, it might happen sometime, but yeah, so I need to do it manually. After that, I roll board there. Alright, I gotta sweep. Sweep the dead wood. Yeah, bronze with dead wood something, so. And I gotta lower this thing right here, and then I gotta bow one more time. Before bowing, um, I need to wait until the pins are refilled, cause I'll show you what will happen if I roll the ball there and the pins are not refilled. So let's sweep them up first. And yeah, the pin might be like this, and then they have double pins arriving to the compartment. All right, so yeah, there are d double pins and other 
colored pants. Yeah, these candle pants here, and yeah. All right. Yeah, they've got double pins, and I'll let you guys see what happens if I have got double pins arrive into the compartments. So I'm gonna lower this down, and then let go the pins, and let's see what happens. All right. Yeah, as you can see, they've got really nice double pins. <laughs> wow, that's a miracle. If a pin is standing up uh, to each other, so yeah, it's like a bowling trick shot. So, if I just pull this down, roll the ball down here, there, and then I'll s let you guys see what happens. Yeah. Alright. Let's get them out. Into the ball pit area. Alright. Yeah, they're again clogged up again. Yeah, they're clogging up. So, yeah, kind of malfunction. Oh. And this is the thing that helps the pins line up, right? I drag this down, and then I'll let you guys see what it's doing with this thing. All right, it helps line up the pins. All right, I'll show you this. All right. <laughs> And then, oh yeah, they're getting malfunction. So, yeah, they're clogged up, and I can't identify whether that they were the first part of the candle pin or the second part of the candle pin. Because there are two sets of pins, but they have got different layers. They have got different layers of uh, the polygon. They've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, A. Oh, there's another K. All right, A to J layer. So, yeah. So they have their own layer, and the layers are recognized and split it by these and distributed by these red, red, uh, pinkish thing here, pink thing, and then this is start to distribute pins and then yeah the pin starts start to fail alright alright so yeah as you can see there are two sets of pins the first set of pins is right here on the platform and then the second set of pin is arriving to the compartment pin deck. All right, I gotta speed it up. So, and whoops! It seems to be having another speed up because it malfunctioned. So, yeah, let's speed it up. So. Yeah, so the first pin arrives, the second pin arrives, and the third pin arrives. Alright, whoops. Arrives to the compartment, pin compartment, pin deck. So, whoops. Seems to have a malfunction. So the fifth pin arrived, we're missing the fourth pin. So, they're again distributed again. They have a stealth troubleshooting. So, whoops. Yeah, they'll go back to it. The original compartment. So yeah, as you can see, there are two sets of pins. The first set and the second set. They have got different layers. So yeah, pull a ball in there, and then I'm gonna lower the sweep and then sweep them up, sweep them down uh, um to the pin area that the ball pit. So, yeah, I'll show them the mechanism and the sweep in action. It's a bit like um, the Brunswick A2 pin setter, so, but this kind of pin lifter or something um, is different from the A2 pin setter. 
So. Yeah. And then. They were driven by this motor. And then. Yeah. And then it starts to get lifted by this thing. Alright. Yep, so as you can see, they're starting to cloud up. So, there are two sets of pins. So, I'm going to drag them. Drag the first set of pin right to the ball pin area and then load the second pin. Second set of pin. Yeah, this one's going to quite pay it fast. But, yeah, this pin is kind of old. It is. A five year old candle pin pin setter. Yeah. Yes, it starts to clock or stuck right here. So um I'll show you a review of this pin setter. <laughs> 